have seen a giant plume of black smoke north of Sacramento hovering over Ria Linda. That was a junkyard fire and it's causing a possible hazmat situation in the neighborhood. ABC 10's Van 2 has been following that fire fight all night for us. Van, what's the scene look like now? Well, Luke, as you can see behind me, crews remain on scene as they are working to put out these hot spots. I want to show you where this happened. As you can see, this is a 24 hour uh, tow and junkyard. So you can just imagine the type of material that was burning here. Rubber, gasoline, plastics, all of this creating a very toxic situation that didn't stop neighbors from rushing in to help. Fire crews dropping water on the raging inferno below. This aerial video from Sacramento Metro shows the tower of billowing black smoke on the ground. The pops and booms of highly combustible material could be heard from the Rio Linda junkyard fire off Elkhorn Boulevard. It was really hot. It was real hot and toxic, you know, right now, I, like my, my throat still like each. Covered in ash, Leo Dubinetsky among a group of good Samaritans who rushed towards the flames to remove cars, boats and RVs from the path of the fire. Neighbor Russ Sabniak brought his forklift. Start moving like which is flammable to be helpful for the fire. Fire, firefighters, because if it's catch something in a fire, it will be hard to be stopping. The cause of the fire is unclear, but witnesses say winds whipped a small fire into a fury. And it started in the yard over there, and then the wind made it jump and come this way. And I just got some friends and family here, so I come to help them get it out, but it, everybody's getting their stuff out. SAC Metro calling reinforcements from around the region with 20 units throwing heavy resources to contain the fire, knocking it down in a matter of hours. Officials say poor air quality remains a threat to the public. You have so much smoke, so much black, just it's nasty smoke. The toxic smoke reaching as far as Folsom. Neighbors should keep windows closed. And Luke, due to the hazardous material that was burning here, the Sacramento Office of Emergency Management is also on site evaluating the runoff to make sure that there isn't any major harm done to the environment. All right, thank you, Arvan, to reporting live tonight in Rio Linda.